This is, of course, the scene where Carlos, playing Lazarus the Vampire, transforms, sprouts wings, and flies off into the nighttime sky. Here's the shot as it was originally done. Carlos would step in so that we could get a lighting and a size reference on him. We would start to roll camera, and then we would ask Carlos to step out, and we'd shoot the shot with Dale Moore playing the pastor, reacting as if something in front of him was sprouting wings and flying off into the sky. And then, of course, we tilt it up into the trees, because that's what was there. Later on, we went through, and as we tilted up into the trees, we just keyframed the shot to go right off the monitor. Later on in post-production, we went to a small shooting stage at Webster University here in St. Louis and set up a blue screen background. And using the original shots as a reference, we shot a blue screen element of Carlos jumping up into the air. And the interesting thing here is the simplicity that when he leapt up into the air, we just whip panned the camera down to make it look like he was zipping out a shot. We then, of course, keyed out the blue screen, did a little garbage matting, and boom, had an element of Carlos flying out of shot. We had built a set of miniature wings that were flexible. So the wings were then puppeted as if a creature was launching into a takeoff. These wings were then animated and matched moved to Carlos's shoulder. I didn't use blue screen or green screen because I knew that we were going to get some spill through the wing itself and we used a luminance key instead. I knew the wing would go transparent and that's okay because I wanted you to be able to see things through the wing but I didn't want the wing to go blue or green which is what would have happened with a blue screen or a green screen. One of the other problems we realized later is that Carlos and his wings had to go behind the pastor. So we had to go in and rotoscope around Dale so that the wings would go behind him. The second half of the shot was to build a miniature of the skyline with the moon in the background. This is a practical miniature. This was done with plants purchased from a Michaels art store, real branches, and that's a gray cloth backdrop with cotton clouds, and that is a photo cutout of the moon that's being illuminated with a light. The photo cutout is being hung on string. You can't see the string because there's pieces of cotton covering up the string. We did a variety of different speed tilt-ups on this miniature so that we could find one that would match the tilt-up on the live action shot. The trick here then was to do some soft matting so that we could match this and key this over the original piece that we had. At this point, we then went to a full Carlos puppet. Those wings that I had earlier were attached to a 1-6 scale Ken doll that had been re-sculpted with more muscles and he had been painted and, and made to look a little bit more like Carlos. So here he is with the background keyed out and garbage matting me and the control rods out of the way. Then the trick was to reduce him down, position him into the second half of the shot and make it look like he was actually in the background. Now here's the full shot again, completed. And once again, quick enough that most people don't realize what they're looking at. 